reward system of some kind, a good uh, rewards for progress through the various skill class. They should be clear and substantial, I think, you know, as much as possible. I don't know if there's a place for monetary compensation of any kind. It's hard. The scholarships for sure. Yeah, yeah. You can if you if you phrase it or, or structure it as scholarships or something like scholarships, I think that would be fine. Yeah. So that again comes back to how we fund it and uh, how we reward people for finishing certain things. Just uh, um, who gives the scholarships like there, the whole, I think, issue there would be because there would be some quantum of money in there somehow, even if it was like Wikipedia from donations, like there was some mechanism through which either taxes yeah. or donations or just people paying for services directly. So some way to, to get income. And then, of course, the yeah. question is, how do you distribute the funds in especially in the sense of like who then has the authority to give essentially scholarships uh, to people based uh, on which criteria. Of course, the answer to it is everybody's criteria should be whatever group formed in there has their own criteria and should be fine that they have different kinds of criteria, different groups. So just the, the goal is that you need to be able to distribute the finances in the system enough, meaning distribute it in a technical sense that it's a, the, a lot of money is between many different like sub institutions within that or hubs within that hub. Yeah. Uh, it, you can't have one single authority that's giving scholarships because then it will be just as limited and, and probably wrong oftentimes in their determinations as uh, existing systems are. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think everything we've already said about how it should be funded, how we control, you know, public funding, how we control the, the uh, corporations and, uh, you know, Amazon that in, gets involved with all of this, the same things can be used here for reward systems and how we reward people. Um, but I do think rewards are very important and they should be very clear and as substantial as we can as with, the, with the funds that we have and with the abilities we have. Um, uh, I, just, I, can even, of... I can even conceptualize it a little bit for you because, again, if you use the, because I'm liking more and more the elemental prism applied to forms of education because it really simplifies this uh, in a useful way. Because, of course, money are the material earth kind of reward. So, in, especially people in the fields who are in it for either the money or, let's say, want a career that's very practically useful and therefore lucrative. Uh, so those will be highly motivated and also they would highly benefit from financial scholarships because they would also be trying to study the fields which have the greatest financial investment in, uh, in even being able to learn it uh, properly. But then you also have uh, for like the fire one, which is like the focus on self, uh, that's competitions. A uh, whole right. one category of rewards is awards. Like you can be yeah. competing for awards specifically. Uh, that's uh, very motivational for people who are focused on developing their self. Like a lot of artists actually care about this sort of thing a lot. And awards can also include like money, but it's not a scholarship. Like a award which has some sort of financial uh, component to it, like a prize. Uh, a prize is not a scholarship. So it's like a scholarship right. is one kind of thing, which is money but entirely different way to conceptualize it is prizes. Absolutely. Uh, so that, yeah, that, like what you, that leads like into my third money. point. And yeah, that, that's exactly right. So the third point here was friendly competitions. I said friendly because, I, again, I wanted to be respectful. I didn't want respectful too much Respectful is the better word. Like, like a friendship yeah. is not required, but respect is in, in those yeah, competitions. Yeah, let's, so let's call it respectful. It's like a sportsmanship is a word. Yeah, I, I couldn't think of a good word to put sportsmanship in front of it. Sportsmanship based competitions or, or competitions where sportsmanship is important, but it kind of got long. But and I some did of think the, like, you can, like, what you could do, you could try to look at ethical codexes of debating organizations and they have various ways of talking about it. If you want yeah. like inspiration, I like, like uh, one in the Czech one uses uh, like gentlemanly conduct. I don't think that's a uh, gender PC good enough. No. Uh, so that's just a word that exists. But like, I don't uh, mind the word. I don't mind the word respectful. I think it's a good word, even though we did use it before. Um, but this is more focused on the enjoyability of the competition part. We, yeah. we, we still uh, and, want. and that's still not all, uh, because they have prizes for the fire domain, uh, scholarships for the earth domain. But then uh, mm. in the water domain or somewhere between air, air and water is more about social uh, things that you gain. So that's things like uh, popularity. So it's, if you have like right. something like uh, attention, so it's like you're being shown to a lot of people is something that is a kind of reward that also has uh, uh, correlates to being able to actually start a career type thing. So that's by itself is valuable also tr in transferably into money. You know, like if you have the ability to be seen by a lot of people, exposure. I know it's like a, you can't buy food for exposure. It's like sort of the joke, like a artist shouldn't be paid just in exposure, but it's a kind of thing. Like, like exposure is definitely a thing if it was part of especially an educational system that is free. Because the main problem with exposure is that you're doing stuff 
for somebody else for free and they just give you exposure. In education sense, you're doing it for yourself. But as a bonus, you could get exposure as part of it as well. And it could be exposure can also be tied to money directly in that uh, they can be essentially advertised uh, so that you can do a concert or something social uh, show, mm. which will get paid, like people would pay to see. Uh, yeah. or can would be able to then give you that's more like uh, what that is because you have prizes and you have scholarship this is patronage so if you okay. wanted to translate it into like patreon like if you wanted to translate it into money the model so okay so water domain is patronage uh the earth domain is scholarship the fire domain is prizes and uh the what's the financial equivalent in the air domain which wind. is the what would be wind wind domain yeah, wind, uh, wind domain is more uh, most theoretical, most abstract, least material. So this makes like the least sense to be even thinking about money in this general yeah. area. Okay. So, uh, but it could be uh, it could be access to information, uh, okay. meaning that uh, in uh, back in the back in the day where you would have to pay for textbooks and stuff, that's what it would be. You would be like a uh, paid, uh, in a sense, uh, not so that you. But it's, I guess it's not super different from the material scholarship. I guess it's still kind of it would still be considered scholarship in this yeah, in this domain. Uh, but uh, the way the money would be what it would be awarded for, and uh, in a sense of like for what like how you earned it, but also for like how you should spend it, would be fundamentally different. So, but it still I think would be classified as a kind of scholarship. Perhaps with wind, it's more um, prestige um, that maybe comes from. You might get attention of other scholars or other. Uh, I think you know, yeah, that's a that's a good point. Yeah, because it's still uh, prestige, not in a sense uh, of like uh, for your personal satisfaction necessarily. Even though ego, of course, can play a part in that. But uh, mm -hmm. it's a kind of thing where yeah, where people become aware of you as a as like a status of a. It's just difficult to simply name, but it's like uh, what people in that domain want is. Uh, being uh, recognized or recognition is one of those words like being recognized for being in some field uh, like being a genius be recognized for brilliance so yeah it's, it's, it could be still kind of prize but then it would be like a nobel prize type yeah, thing okay. like so that. it's not a prize for a competition as in like classically a competition uh yeah. Yeah, but it was a competition still between like different thinkers or people who try to do smart things but it would be yeah. recognition recognition for brilliance is, and, is what that is. And a lot of these will be both water and wind, right? Sure. Then, so these are just abstracts. Abstract. These so, are pure categories which can be yeah. mixed in any way. All right. So I love the idea of scholarships. I love the idea of competitions and prizes. I love the idea of exposure. Prestige, I guess, is a big part of exposure as well. So maybe the three of them there. And then patronage. And then patronage. Mechanism. Yeah. So that, that seems great to me. Those, those are kind of maybe four points. I could even just break it down into those four points and kind of gamify all of them a little bit. But um, I'll, I'll think about the best way to put that together. But I think that really captures it as far as what we're trying to uh, to make sure that the reward system is clear and that people are rewarded for going through it. Yeah, because the, the, benefit, the, the benefit of this is that this is hel like like when you do color coding in a document, this, is, this helps mm -hmm. to systematize or like uh, communicate uh like what kinds of thing this is so you can like whatever uh program or part or thing that you identify in the world that you connect to the hub you can then use these terms to classify uh mm -hmm. what kind of learning this is what is it for where does it lead what can you get if you meet which kinds of goals yep. type thing yeah and that's perfect i um i think that's great that, that that pretty much summarizes all of it those are the four points so again open collaborative respectable respectful and enjoyable Respectable and respect, respectful are two different words for two different things. That uh, it's yeah. just have the same root, but they are different words completely. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the final points after that, just to kind of go through again, we can kind of review this and touch on it again later. So we definitely talked about breaking it down by fire, water, wind, earth. So I have a little section on that, on what is what, and mm -hmm. fire being kind of the the spark, math, science, language. It's a spark for future learning, kind of. Um, and it's your personal. Uh, it could personal be like a, that's that's, that's where you would put the what you would call basic competencies, because those basic are the literacy, yeah. numeracy, oracy, because those are right. your personal skills that make you a person. We'll call it basic personal competencies. So I'll, I'll add that there. And then water being the social studies, arts. It's kind of things that kind of flow through and connect us together. They're social, socials type uh, skills. I don't know if there's anything else to clarify that more or better, but uh, 
I'll let you take a stab at that later, maybe as far as how much to elaborate on each of these. No, usually it's the called wind. arts because you have even like a faculty of arts. Uh, it's just yeah. like the only part of it that science is social science or psychology. Right. So those are the sciences within this field, are social, yeah, social science and psychology. Uh, but generally it's called arts, in like humane arts is, is what that is called. Right. And then the, the wind, I guess we talked about humanities, political science, philosophy, critical thinking, more of the debating side of things. I guess the humanities, um, that's part of it, like the hum humane arts, are, can have an overlap between a kind of yeah. air and kind of water. Uh, but uh, pure theory is the pure wind. Like uh, yeah. when you have phys like mathematics, physics on a high abstract level. Yeah, and I think of wind as things that kind of lift us up and lift us off the ground. They're just kind of ways that let us fly, you know, yeah. and, and uh, yeah, when you like, water. literally you take flight with an, with an idea, sometimes literally into space. That's how that works. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And Very water future oriented, is, like the wind is about the future. Yeah. And the water is basically the, the source of life for all of us. It flows through us. It connects us all. We all need water. Um, yeah, which also so kind of includes religion, religious studies and stuff like that. Oh, the water includes religious studies, the social studies. Yeah, yeah and that makes sense. And then uh, Earth being, of course, career specific training. Um, this is much more focused on the fruits of our labor, which is basically the yeah. fruits of the earth, right? We, we grow food in the soil. Also, it's it the most food, the, yeah. the, the careers that are the, everything in the world that's also traditional, stable, conservative. Yeah, things that basically provide for the sustenance of the world. Um, yeah. Very, very specific uh, careers. Or just directly survival. Yeah, yeah. So because I, I really okay, like that. So maybe just of your, what you've mentioned, there's just uh, one of the fire, the, the fire domain also then includes... Uh, sports and uh, and uh, military like the, it includes the competitive everything that's highly competitive because water is about social interaction that's not competitive and mm -hmm. air is competitive only in like who's the smartest and uh, earth is competition at most over resources meaning like uh, how to get enough to get by type stuff or produce more for everyone uh, fire is directly about uh, the fight impulse so this is directly everything that's uh, skills the skills that are the most competitive, the directly competitive skills. Okay, a little more of a win lose type skills. Where you're yeah, yeah, to win lose. Yeah, else. because it's a, it's, per, it's for you. It's like you becoming yeah. better than others, or preventing yeah, it, others from doing something that you don't think they should be doing. A little bit of that is like the keep up with the Joneses mentality, right? Where you're trying to be better because you want to be better than the guy next to you. That's you that's how co competition it. of this kind is motivating. It's motivating yeah. to one up the other guy. So that's a co yeah. definitely a component of psychology. Uh, that if the competition is like that's actually the benefit of sports like before sports modern sports uh, you would uh, have to physically fight with people to yeah. engage in the same level and kind of demonstrating that you're better yeah the gladiator arenas of ancient rome right that's, yeah those yeah those are sort of the precursors to sports that's precursors already a precursor to, to modern sport in that it began transfer transferring or transitioning yeah. From actual combat to just a kind of uh, show, competition, yeah, I, show of skill. I think of that very much as um, the Olympics being kind of a move from win-lose to also win-win. Because just by participating in the Olympics, you're getting better. And so everybody's winning, yeah, no, no. No, even that's if a, you're yeah, losing, right? There's definitely, because it definitely 100% has a place. It's just like, and all of these domains have their dark side. That like you can have, a, in yeah. the water domain, you can have a very manipulative religion or slash ideology uh, that's supposed to control everybody's life constantly, like their personal details, like of their, uh, like who they have sex with and stuff. It's just like this kind of yeah, control false. over the social. Uh, in the air domain, you can have a sort of the pure rationalism that's completely uh, lacking empathy, where you're just uh, designing artificially society, socially engineering it uh, to be whatever crazy theoretical thing that somebody thought of, which can be dramatically devastating to, to everything. Yeah. And in the earth, the earth domain, of course, uh, it can be so conservative that's completely stifling of all progress, which would actually even accomplish its own goal better, meaning like producing more material stuff that's materially better. Uh, so if you just lean into the conservativeness too much, then it also becomes but, just bad. You know the uh, paperclip analogy with the robots uh, creating the world's best yeah, paperclip yeah. and turning the whole entire paper cosmos into definitely. paperclips? <laughs> So yeah, that that's definitely a, a problem with Earth if you take it too far, right? Um, so that that makes sense. Yeah. I think the key of, is understanding that dichotomy of those four and how they connect, and trying to get as much as possible the win-win situations out of each of them, 
and try to at least you know maybe learn from the win lose where it yeah. exists and try because yeah, to yeah because it. like you could be like teaching for instance economic stuff like the material stuff you could be te- teaching it to someone like in an apprenticeship like a person who's already successful has money teaching somebody who's up and coming they can be teaching them to be very uh like a shark like uh like a wall street wolf of wall, wall street type of thing like when there's this moment when the uh he like leonardo dicaprio's character is told uh by matthew mcconaughey's character is like uh that it you that um, leo says something like uh uh but it's like also good when the client also makes money right and uh the uh the answer to that is like no, doesn't matter uh so it's <laughs> like you can have this like uh mentality of teaching these things to be competitive in a sense you actually want everybody else to do worse than you and you can be teaching it in that way and that which is toxic and definitely shouldn't yeah. be the basis for a global system uh because that's inherently an unfair way of course of doing it uh so yeah. in the fire domain you can also like historically all like the great warrior tribe would like not teach everybody else to be a great warrior also because uh yeah. maybe if they were like very like sportsman like uh but probably not they would probably want everybody else to be kept in uh weakness and and ignorance and poverty yeah. because that's i guess the sort of highest moral effect of if you do the material domain right is that you learn that if everybody gets more of stuff then everybody gets even more of everything compared to how much more yeah. everybody else is getting so that's like sort of way how something that seems mundane and sort of uh vaguely immoral like uh uh seeking profit being a trade tradesperson how that can mm-hmm. actually transform the world into a very peaceful and prosperous wor- prosperous world because like the highest good of the material domain is prosperity so right. then you can actually learn rationally because it's a rational domain you can rationally calculate that to achieve your highest prosperity you have to ensure that everybody else has also the highest possible prosperity because yeah. if everybody else uh, everybody else has more they can also even more a uh, gift to you 